We're back on the moaning of life. Yes, we're we are. back on our Carl Pilkington shit. Yep. And we're talking about death. Such a happy subject. Yep. Yep. Such uplifting. Yep. I mean, we had to. I, I, I guess I had to balance out because this is the, this is the type of series it is. We talked yep. about we talked about marriage, kids, and uh, jobs. And, yep. So yep. and death, happiness. Now we're talking about death. Yeah. Balance only seems right. Let's it's go. It's going to be interesting to see how he views it. Yeah. You know, I feel like for Carl, my preconceived notion is that it just happens. Uh. Yeah. That's. I feel like that's his view on many things, but <clears throat> I don't see why this would be different. Yeah. Only one way to find out, though. Let's dive in, man. Hell yeah. The new age. And to see if the issues <laughs> are such a big deal anyway. Oh, man. In this man. episode, Carl finds out how to deal with death. What's the best final resting place? Oh, shit. If I lived there, I wouldn't be doing this with my granddad. A fly tip it. All my family would be left around here. <laughs> and comes face to face with death. I should record something for the start of the program saying, what you're about to see is, is mental, so if you can't handle weird shit, watch something else. I can't ah. move it that way. Watch your head. <laughs> this is the moaning of life. It's like, who's the mental one here? Is it me or everyone else? Let's see. Whoo! And it annoys me the amount of land that's being taken up by the dead. Burials and all that. When you think that there's not that much land, is there, for people to live on? Houses are getting smaller because there's not enough land. Population's growing. There's just not enough space for everyone. And yet you've got, like, big fields taken up by dead bodies. They always get the nicest place as well, dead bodies. When you think of graveyards, it's always, like, a nice little quiet area, isn't it? And yet people who are, who are living... You're in like a shitty area where it's all noisy and horrible and grey and what have you. I'd say put the dead bodies in the shitty areas. You could put them <laughs> on the motorways and stuff, because they're always digging the road up anyway, aren't they? There's loads of holes. Or in, a, in the sort of middle of a roundabout, maybe. That's a little bit of land that doesn't get used. They're not going to build a house on that. So stick dead bodies under that. It reminds me of this George Carlin bit. What's that? Of, uh, where he's talking about where the best place to put low-cost housing for the homeless is one, golf courses, and two, cemeteries. Yep. <laughs> if we're going to recycle, let's get serious. No, for real. <laughs> it brings up a good point. Cemeteries are huge. Yeah. They're huge. Yeah. And eventually, we're going to run out of acreage. Mm-hmm. I mean, not any time in our lifetime or our my son's lifetime, but eventually. Yeah. You know, so it's going to be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Mm -hmm. I agree with his points. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Donna. Uh, Whoa. They sell coffins at Walmart. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, and, and Online, on Amazon right? too. Online. Yeah, you can get one shipped to your house. Two day overnight shipping. Huh. Wow. Prawn, chocolate eclair, air dryer. Have you ever seen a showroom like it? Well, I did. I used to stick a body in there. Come out. Unless something happened to you and you, you know, you were in bits. <laughs> Stick the head there, a couple of hands, feet. Wow. There's something about this that you just go, yeah, it's fine, yeah, it's good. Wow. You can imagine having a laugh. I don't think people will be stood around crying and moping. Imagine if you're there and the vicar's going on about your gran, <laughs> saying that, you know, she likes going to church on a Sunday, she made lovely cakes, and then they brought her down in a crab. <laughs> I would laugh. You'd have a good memory of it. It's sort of a celebration of your life. Oh, she was, what was she like? I didn't know she liked crabs. Gets people talking. Why oh, she picked a crab? You uh, you looking to buy? We are in a car. A car? A car. Why, why are you getting a car? For my father. He's old mechanic. Specialised in uh, this car. What is that? It's a larder? Yes, yeah, a larder, yeah. And how would they get him in this? Was he a big man, or...? Let, let, let me say it's someone like me, yeah? Yeah. It's, it's the size of you? Yeah, that's the size of you. And they're going to get him in yeah, a larder? Uh, yeah, yeah, right on. Why I not? needed yeah. a bigger... Yeah, why not? I've never even thought about it. I'm going to die one day, yeah. but I've no idea you, what... You have no plans for that. But here, it's a form of respect to the person. So what are you having? Me, I'm going to use pen. You're having a pen? I'm, they are going to use pen for me. Pen. pen. The pen you used to write. Yeah, yeah, like a big yeah, pen. Yeah. What, you're going to be in a big pen? Yes. In big why? Pen, yeah. Why? Because because I'm a teacher. Okay. Yeah. I'd have thought you'd gone for a blackboard duster. Because it's the shape of a coffin. Yeah, but I prefer the pen. That'd be good if that lifted up. Yeah, you see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look for that. So anything that I came up with, you can you can make. Yeah. No matter sure. what it is. Yeah, yeah. 
normally what people think a lot when they are buying a coffin for a relative is the profession of the person. What is your profession? What This, what? I sort of travel around. We have something like the aeroplane for businessmen, someone who yeah, but I'm moves sick of around. aeroplanes. I'm always on aeroplanes. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know. Uh, should it come to you just like that? Should this be an e you easy know, decision? Sometimes we spend more than an hour or two. Wow. If that, uh, if that was up to you, if you could choose that, what would you choose? A trash bag? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Like, a wooden trash bag, because it'd be funny. <laughs> like, well, I, I don't know, man. What would you choose? <laughs> it's between a race car, a can of beer, or a pizza box. Or you could have uh, sponsors on your on your race car. Uh-huh, uh -huh. I have beer sponsors and pizza sponsors. Okay. On your uh, race car. All right, there we go. Race car. That's what. Yep. Crazy. Come on, the garage. Hey. <laughs> the Twix. It's one of me sort of little treats that I like. I, I don't know if it's ever been done, but got a girlfriend. Yeah. See, with a Twix, you get two bars. Ah! I've already eaten one. Yeah. But you get two hey! bars in it, so I'm thinking yeah. one coffin. Two spaces. Yeah. So only one cost. One coffin, but it has two, two. two people. Yeah. We'll leave that wild. Wild. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon to the Twix idea? I'm not sure. I think the idea of being with Suzanne's quite nice. She doesn't like talking about death, so in a way I've sorted it. So I don't worry about it. You're going to leave a Twix. He's sweet. Well, that's quite a nice thing to say, that I'd, I want, want us to rot together in one box. It's sort of more environmentally friendly, money saving. So what's going on? I'm just going to my first funeral. I don't know that much about it. I don't know what the jobs are. I don't know what I'm meant to be expected to do. It's a funeral, isn't it? How much is there to do at a funeral? We have a woman here called uh, Madame Comfort Asaba Kof, who died a month ago. She's now going to be lied in state so that everybody comes to pay the last homage. Yeah. So what I want you to do is that you go and help the Iceman to prepare the body. First, the body was lying down, but right now, you really want the body to stand in the room for some time. So it's not, she's not in a coffin. Coffin will come tomorrow. All right. Yeah. So wait. This is the ice man. Wait a minute. Are we about to see a dead body? We might be about to see a dead body. Thank God this is on Patreon. Yep, yep. This is why it's on Patreon. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Then there's the woman. Jesus. How old there is it she? is. How old? 78 years. Right, so what? what I'm helping the ice man. Yes. <laughs> this is my first ever funeral. I've never been to a funeral. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's nice. Is it? Right, okay, then let's. Uh, oh, God. Let's get on with it then. I don't know if I can watch. Like, oh, yeah. Make her up. And then what? Just. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Like that. I like that, yeah. Oh, God, I can't yeah. watch. Crazy, like man. like a right tranny. Like, you know, Eddie is hard. Or something like that, letting me on her. Because I, I don't do makeup. I don't, I don't use makeup, so I don't know how to put it on. <laughs> it doesn't look good. She looked better when we hadn't even touched her. Just left in a corner of a room, lying there. I don't know what we've done. Oh, so man. It feels like she's just going to jump up in a minute and say it's all a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, looking at her on the poster. <laughs> It's not like it's the same woman, is it? It's really weird. And the poster's sort of as dead as she is, isn't it? It's not moving or anything, but there's life. There's life there, isn't there, even though it's a photo? For me, this. Jesus, she's heavy, isn't she? I don't know why it's so funny. Like, the idea that they that, that, that a dead corpse may rise up and be like, hey, it's a joke. That's that, I would quit. <laughs> if that happened, I would quit. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm going to just seek life somewhere else. This is not for me. <laughs> That's wild. That is... I understand for us that's 100% taboo, but that's a crazy part of culture right there. That's, whoo, wow. I wasn't prepared to see something like that, and at the time of this recording, we just cooked our the the full uh, uh, Sunday roast, and Ooh. I'm still, I'm still like, yeah, it, it's still on my stomach. Yeah. And like, the first time I saw it, I almost gagged. Yeah, I almost it's... threw up. All of the food that we ate yeah so that's it's, just to kind of give you an idea of where i'm at yeah and where he's at too for, for me i'm just like this it's just it for me it's a morbid profession uh yeah. like undertaker mortician 
uh, th- just very morbid. But it has yeah. to be done by someone. Someone's got to do it. Yeah. And that, to me, is wild. It's you like, know? Um, so, yeah. It's like, like an episode of Family Feud where Steve interviews a guy and he says that he cremates bodies for a living. And he says, uh, cracks a joke, he says, uh, I can work at my own pace. They're not in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Why is that so funny? That's, I mean, but I, I feel like all their humor is dark. Like, there's no lighthearted humor amongst morticians. Right, right. Some of their jokes are probably like, ooh, mm-hmm. let's get through this. Yeah. See if we can find any more killer jokes. One. <laughs> all right, we back it up just a little bit. There we go. That's as far as the legs are going to go. More. No, it's not going to go anymore. More. It's not going to go anymore. OK. It's OK. That's it. You're not allowed to use that, are you? There's no way. It was mental, that. Playing Twister with a dead 70-year-old woman. Where is it? When I pick her up, I feet are sliding. So how do we stop that? You're just loosening her up so that it can move her limbs around and they position her. But we just want to stand her up. What do you mean, loosening her up? She's not going to be doing fucking star jumps. She's been dead a month. <laughs> she stood there. Surely stiffness is the best thing you can hope for, isn't it? We want her legs to be stiff when she stands up. OK, ladies, here she goes. Ladies, come on, ladies, come on, come ladies. on. One, two, two three. Come on, Bessie. Keep hold of her. Then when he's saying, pick her up, I'm going, well, hang on, just let me take this in. I've never been to anything like this before. And he's going, pick her up. It was like shifting a mattress. Do you know what I mean? When you sort of go, this should be easy, it's just a person. This is just a mattress, I should be able to move it from one room to another. Have you ever shifted a mattress? Yeah. It's awkward, isn't it? It goes everywhere you don't want it to go, and that's what it was like. Keep going. One, one two, two, three. three. I can't yeah. move it that way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, look sh- oh shoot. Oh, look sh- I thought that was her. You're crazy. I, uh, I got freaked out there oh, for a second. Shit, no. Oh, wow. God. It's oh. crazy. All right, look. It's it's it was obviously like sun up ish when he get got there. Yeah. Dark. He's yeah. been with this dead lady for a while. Oh, I can't. That is not for me. That's a let me help you. It's part of my show somehow, and now I know what I never want to do. Yeah. Oh God. Let's do it. Apparently, they knocked the idea of standing her up because it was a little bit tricky standing her up. So they've sat her in a chair. I think they redid the face, and um, they've sat her in front of um, like a stall because that's what she did when she was alive. She sold food or something, so that's the idea. They try and make it look like she's still alive, basically. Huh? Oh, she looks a lot better. You already done. Well done. No, no, that's good. No. <laughs> I can imagine her now. What she would have been like when she was alive. It's really real. It's not like a dead woman anymore. It's really real. It's not as spooky. I could sleep in here tonight, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Would you have Suzanne on display? Well, she really is like that most of the time these days now. That is her. <laughs> There's not much difference. Because of coffee, you do it. I could swap. Bring Suzanne here, <laughs> sit her there, take comfort home, honestly. Uh, there wouldn't be any difference. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Oh, God. All right, oh. OK. I- I'm still freaked out by that. Yeah. Yeah. But the end result was a lot less weird. Yeah. Well, because we have showing like open caskets. Yeah. That's the only way I'm like, okay, I'm comfortable uh-huh. with that. Because we have yeah. open caskets, and that to me is crazy. Yeah. But wow, man. I mean, I, I say all this freaked out stuff, act all freaked out about it, and yet I have actually an idea f- for. When my time comes and it's an open casket, I have an idea of what I want the setting to be. All right, at the end of the show. Okay, we'll right. talk about that at the end yep. of the show. Okay, yep. okay. All right. Day two. Oh, parade. Today's the big day. It's the day they bury comfort. Just like the start of a, say, a car boot sale or something, you know. Some people have got there early, getting the best spot. It's better milling about. Quite calm at the moment. Wow. Oh. Wigs never look good. If, if there's one thing we haven't cracked yet in human sort of civilization, we've never been able to make a good wig. I wouldn't want a wig on me. Should make a will out really and make sure that nobody goes, well, he's bald, isn't he? Let's get a wig on him. So, what's going on? Basically, uh, got the job of joining the Jammer Group, which is a group of blokes go along the street, make a load of noise, people stick their head out. And they see there's like a funeral going on, so they come out. The more people on the streets, the better the celebration for the dead person. Do you remember the coffin dance? 
You remember yeah, that meme was, from it 2020? Was, it was circling around. It was going crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's the coffin dance before the coffin yep. dance. Yep. Yep. <sighs> wow. Get that out there. Yep. It's mental, isn't it? It's like, oh, I forgot it's a funeral. Way <laughs> dancing about, getting involved. Where's you saw the coffin? You see that? The coffin being chucked in the air. I've never seen that. That's something to talk about. I was a funeral. It was pretty good. They got the coffin six foot high in the air. Here you are. <laughs> Those blokes carrying it on their hands and knees. That is mad, isn't it? Comfort's in there. A wig will be all over the shop. For me, it makes the event something worth turning up for. Oh, it's a bit edgy. Is they going to drop it? It doesn't matter if they do. She's dead. But it's still got that edge to it. <laughs> Whereas at home, it's just, how was it? Uh, yeah, it, oh, it was a, a great send. I've had a lovely spread. Had some lovely ham and cheese pickled sandwiches. <laughs> that's it. That's as good as it can get. Uh, if I had a funeral, I, I, that's what I'd want. I don't want people moping about. You're going to remember that, aren't you? Honestly, for a, my first funeral, uh, I've enjoyed today. You, you gave her a good send-off. I'd be happy with that, apart from the wig. I won. All right. What? Wow! Crying isn't something I need in my life. Suzanne's always saying, oh, you, you're hard, you. Cold heart. Have you got a heart? Do you know what I mean? She's always like, what is wrong with you? I don't cry, I don't... Uh, water doesn't leave me head. Mm. Got loads of gauze. That's how water leaves me. It's not out of my eyes. It's saliva, especially at night when I'm asleep. I sometimes wake up with a sort of really wet head because I've been <laughs> sort of slavering <laughs> on the pillow. I've been rolling about on it. This woman called Lou is a professional mourner. She's going to teach me how to cry, how to get upset, how to show feeling and emotion. So this is what you wear when we need to crawl on the ground, which is part of this job. We'll start from the basic, that is the sobbing. Sob while you talk. Sob while you talk. This sentence means I'm your daughter and I can bear the idea that you're already gone. Can you do it again? I'm okay. I don't want to do. It's not funny, but it's this feels wrong. I'm with him. This whole what? Yeah. This is wild. What is it? A, a, a professional what? A professional sobber that... for a funeral. You can hire someone to cry at your funeral. That's the epitome of cold as hell. Only assassins can h hire someone to cry. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. Like, aren't you feeling emotion? Don't you see? I hired an emo emotional crier. That is my emotion. What? <laughs> Holy crap. That is so much. <laughs> that, that's crazy, uh... dude. I don't know. That, that's weird. I'm going to go out and say it. I, I understand that it's culture. I guess uh -huh, uh -huh. that's wild. If you had to pay for someone to express a emotion falsely, that's psychological something. <laughs> that's wild. Like I can't obviously I can't show emotion, but I can pay this person to show emotion for me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh man. That's tough. That is ice cold, man. Yeah. Wow. You're not going to like what I have to say later. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's just keep it going. Let's do it. And just grit our teeth through the whole thing. Ooh. That is so not me. Honestly, it feels... I feel daft. I feel uh, a bit stupid. See, I swear. When I get upset, I don't really cry. I swear. No, you can't. In a funeral service, a lot of people are there, everybody's crying, you cannot swear. Imagining that this someone has passed away and we are crying so hard that we falter, we cannot stand steady on our feet. Don't look like you're drunk, just a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you're cer it's certainly alcohol can fuel, can fuel tears. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> wine. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking wine. Go uh -huh. for it. Dude. Uh -huh. Oh, no. All right, let's Come do on. it. Look, we can do this. Speak yeah. at the same time. Oh, you're not going to be around anymore. See, I think if it, my dad goes, I don't think I'd be like that. I think I'd be more accepting. <laughs> and because he's not scared of death, he always sort of just goes, oh, it doesn't matter. My time's up. He's counting down the days now. You didn't tell me you were ill. You just said you were a little bit weak. I can't. He got annoyed the other week because he was forced into buying a 10-year passport. 80 quid it was, who's going, well, I've got to buy a 10 year one. I'm not going to do it to buy a five year one, half the price. He accepts it. He very rarely buys long life milk. Hey, falter a little bit, <laughs> one step or two. Oh, just hang on, let me sit down. I've got then a bit fall busy. Down actually. On your Listen, I've got a bit dizzy. Come out, look, shaking. That's a bit of It's hard work. I've really got a sweat on. Uh, now we're doing it with the music. Music would help. 
really. Gets emotions going, music. So fuse into it, your mood, your emotions. <laughs> oh, Suzanne, 20 years, and now you're gone. 20 bloody years. We've been through so much. First flat in Salford. You didn't really want to live there, but it's all I could give you. You wanted a holiday. I cannot take After this seriously. Been, what, just being honest. And now I'm being honest. Nah, nah, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I found you just put my hand in dog shit. <laughs> yeah, smell that. That, that, that. that pretty much sums up everything. That's uh, why I'll be crying. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's, uh, I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's everything that we've kept open minds about, that's the one thing I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not afraid to admit I cry, but it's happened a couple times when it's like you know, James Blunt's Monsters, whiskey, that Whiskey Myers song. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, I, I can't force it, you know? But if you couldn't, even if you were just stoic as all F, right? You can say fuck, it's on Patreon. Yeah. Stoic as fuck. That's who you are. Yeah. Who you aren't is hiring someone to cry. That is assassin cold shit. Wow. No emotion is still your emotion as long as you're not paying someone else to have that emotion. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, uh, man. No. Well, I'm just going to a uh, memorial service. No. Yeah. Oh, Tell come on. Sort of uh, going to be crying at. It's a gig. She does quite a few in one day. Just turns up and starts striking. Weird, isn't it? It is no, weird. I nearly keeled over back there practicing. It takes a lot of energy. So for her to be doing that you know, three or four times a day, it's got a right headache. How can you cry when you've got that? See, sometimes in Taiwan, people want their funeral service to be really big. So they would hire these to make this funeral even bigger. What? Come on! <laughs> I don't quite understand how this works with the, with the funeral. Can you do this? <laughs> You look so bored though, don't you? Look at her face. She might as well be waiting at a bus stop. It's a job. She's probably been to three funerals today. I know, but I don't see how this can be showing respect. Got knickers up her ass. Got bruises on her knees. Got a fag burn on her back. She just looks fed up. I've never understood what pole dancing's about anyway. That's a waste of a good skill. Getting to scaffolding or something and goes <laughs> up and down poles. Do the job a lot quicker. No, I don't. Yeah. I, I, I don't really. Uh, I don't really get it. Are we ready? Okay. What the fuck are we watching? It was a memorial service for a woman who, you know, passed away a couple of years ago and they've got together to remember her. If that's what they want to do, it's, it's a nice little thing. But I don't think Lou was needed. You can be sad without crying. If I tell you, you know, I'm sad, that should be enough. You don't have to have tears. So many tears. I think that's why sea levels are rising now. How to do with, you know, global warming and all that. It's the amount of people crying, tears flowing. You just turn it on like that. Kind of a bit mental. You can say that about today. A lot of depression, on a lot of stuff, not a lot of stuff to look forward to, so maybe that's it. Dude, this is mental. This, all different levels. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Oh, no, no, Of no. the dead. All right? Like, uh, but this is a job that someone made that is requested. Which blows my mind. Yeah. Like, this is the pet rock of jobs. <laughs> no, no, no. This is the pet potato of oh, jobs. No. Yeah. That's how much this got me fucked up. This is all wild. This is just, ah. I don't understand. Even though I'm trying to, but there's no one there. Yeah. Except the people hired to cry. That includes our boy Carl. Hire to cry. Wow. <sighs> I'll be honest with you, I was looking at it, she reminded me of a sort of, uh, you know those PG tips pyramid tea bags? He was pointed at the top, worked his way down. I just thought, why is she wearing that? That's the thought I had, if I'm being honest. There was no emotion going. <coughs> I felt sorry for the family, but I looked over at her and I thought, oh yeah, I've had one of those tea bags for ages, they're quite strong. That's it, I'm being honest with you. Because I didn't know the woman. That's terrifying. That's gonna haunt my <laughs> nightmares! Oh my God. What did we just watch? Wild. Come on, Philippines. Come through for us. Have you thought much about how you might die, Carl? Well, what do you think about this idea of dying doing what you love doing? Forget that. If anything, I want to die doing what I didn't love. That's the best way to go, isn't it? So you don't miss life as much. 
Why don't you want to die doing what you love? Because you'll be dying going, oh, I'm going to miss this. Whereas if it's something like emptying the dishwasher, that thing of when you take a pan out and you tip upside down, water goes everywhere, you get water on your feet, and it's all over the kitchen floor, and I hate that job. So that's how I'd like to die. Just have a heart attack lifting out a frying pan. Because then, as I'm dying, I'm going, oh, I don't have to do the rest of it. I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. What? Wow. Huh. Oh, look, it's massive, this place. If it was just dead bodies, what a waste of space that would be, wouldn't it? Whereas people are sort of using these things, mausoleums, they're allowed to live in them. It's like a little village. You've got shops, people flogging, drinks, crisps, peanuts. So if someone moves in there, they make that the bed. That, that is like something you'd see in Benson for Beds, isn't it? It's a double bed with headboard. I mean, it's even got, like, little headrest and everything. So you can understand why someone came along and thought, we can live in these, fully furnished. Got a little table there, table and chairs there. So you can make a barbecue out of this bit, a little stove in there. This one's definitely a bigger size to my first place in London. And the mattress we got, because I didn't want to spend that much on a mattress, it's, it was probably harder than that, to be honest. <laughs> it's nice and green, isn't it? When you think about some of the places people live at home, wow. they're all concrete -y and grey and miserable. Nice, isn't it? The atmosphere is nice. It's got a proper kitchen and an upstairs. I mean, that's big, isn't it? It's marble, that. I'm having a hard time distinguishing what's a store and what's somebody's home. And what's someone's burial grave? place. That would confuse That's... the shit out of me. But I'm oddly okay with this. Well, be, well, yeah. It depends on how you feel about death. You know, it's, it's, it's... I, I'm oddly okay with this idea. Okay. You're maximizing space. Your loved one... Your loved one's remains are within your quote unquote home, right? Uh, it's not like they're just flung about. They're in a tomb, you know? Right. Um, so you're technically living around them. Uh, it, it, I, I'm oddly, even though this is, I guess, is taboo, this is still not out of the realm of, of if someone's like, oh, hey, I live in a graveyard, that's weird. That's a okay, whole that, thing. To me, I'm like, okay, hold up. Oh, but if you're like, hey, my village is situated within, interwoven within a, a graveyard, and this is our family, this is our family's tomb, this is what we've done around it, I'm like, all right, that's you. There's no way in hell that would work here. Oh, hell no. But in a place where space is limited, because here you have to buy a, a graveyard plots, right? Uh -huh. And technically that's your plot, that you buy that land. Yeah. Right? So if you buy this land there, you can just, apparently you can do whatever you want as long as there's bodies on that land. Yeah. Interesting. So I think it's a great way to maximize space in an area that doesn't have space to give up. Yeah. Going back to the point earlier of like, there are, we're running out of space for everyone to have um, a burial place. So yeah. this is a good use of space. Yeah in, yeah, in their own way. I, I'm more accepting of this idea. Yeah, I, I think so. I would be too. I, yeah. I, this does not weird me out at all. I just don't, I don't find this weird. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like it would take a lot to get used to. Yeah. But I could get used to it. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. I'm not in that situation, so I don't know. Yeah. That would be a lot of money at home to have something like that in your kitchen. A marble worktop, you can do chopping on that and you won't cause any damage. Honestly, it's good. Yes. They keep it all tidy and everything, don't they? Morning. Morning. You live here? Yeah. Is it okay to have a look? Yeah. Get an idea of what it would be like. I'll just lie, lie on the bed? Yes. Thank you. It's just the roof over your head. It's basic, but it, it does the job, doesn't it? The thing is, at home, the place that you always forget to clean, is under your bed. They haven't got that problem here. It's sealed off. So mm. no dust and shit and everything. But what about the plaques? Are you IP, rest in peace? Maybe it matters to you. It doesn't to me. Are you worried when you've got your recycling food bin, when you empty that, because it's full of chicken bones, it's a bacon, do you go, oh, is it haunted? Is the food bin haunted? It's a bit of dead chicken. Treat it the same. All this don't disturb the dead. You can't disturb them. Worry about people who are being disturbed who are living. 
I've had neighbours who were playing like the cricket theme tune. You know, they were playing that about three in the morning, full on the stereo. What can you do? But don't disturb the living. Don't disturb the sleeping. Make a racket all you want with the dead. It's not a problem. Interesting point. I never think about uh, the ghost of all the frozen chicken in my freezer. Yeah. I just think about how I'm gonna Kentucky fry that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And like, what's the difference between the plaques that say "Rest in Peace"? You have pictures in your house of the possible dead, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. That doesn't freak me out. Yeah. Why would that plaque? I don't know. I'm oddly okay with that. Yeah. This whole idea, this whole concept. All right. Why not? All right. I mean, yeah. But the thing is, if it was just one person, that would be weird. But yeah. it's everybody. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. So how, how does it work then? How do you get one of these to live in? My grandmother is caretaker, and my mother, and me. And what jobs do people do in return for getting a home? You can clean, and then the exhumation. What's that, the bodies are? Yeah, they have an uh, exhumation. You want to help us? Um, yeah, I'll give you a hand. How uh, long has the body been in? Five years. We won't be monkey, it'll just be skeleton. Yeah. Oh, maybe. maybe. That's really Is this a man or a woman? Mary. It's a woman, yeah. Mary. But there's not enough room for all the dead bodies here. So you've got to, you've got to get them out every five years. Wow. Yeah, wow. It's like a, I see something gold. It's like a white box with gold corners on it. But it doesn't smell. Considering the dead bodies in there, that's five years old. Shit, it's going to wow. go, isn't it? It's just a rotten old coffin. But I can see some air. There's some air. Oh, shit. Now oh, it's got real on it. Yep, it's now it's real. It's got on it. Got more air than me. It's not grim, it's just that it's got a fucking air cut. <sighs> oh, look at that. There we go. Jesus. Oh. It's got a bra. It's still got a bra on. And they're I mean, putting I never in... I saw what she looked like when she was alive. Yeah, I saw her bra. And they're putting the poor lady's bones in, like, a shopping bag? Yeah, they're just grabbing All it right. piece by piece. Again, oddly okay with it. Because it's like they have to make space. You yeah. got to do what you got to do. Yeah. And I guess, I guess they, they're they not heavy on cremation. I Maybe guess not. that's like not a thing for them, culturally. Cremation hasn't even come up in this episode, period. Oh, yeah, true. So, yeah. but it, it makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, if this is a system that is in place... um. Like, let's say if, if our families were to move there yep. in five years, they have to do that. I could see how that's disturbing for our families. Yeah. To witness that. But that's the way things are there. Yeah. So that it's is normal. understandable. Yeah. Question or not, whether I accept it, I'm still on the fence about that. I don't know, man. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not up to the dead person, is it? Right. It's not up to them. And, and that's kind of a comforting thing. It's not up to you. Yeah. You know why? Because you're fucking dead. Yeah. Do something about it. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's weird. I saw what sort of underwear <laughs> she wore, but I know nothing else about her. If they want them to be comfy in eternity, don't leave a bra on her. Suzanne's always moaning about wearing a bra. She's going, it's all right for you. You don't have to wear them. They're well uncomfy. So if, if you're leaving someone in a box forever, take the bra off. How much a bra is? Uh, I've never bought one. No, I no. have Gloves. That, to me, is wear gloves. Wear gloves? Wear gloves. Okay. The guy's just picking through the... Yeah, free-handing it, that's a little much. Yeah. I heard Suzanne say, oh, can I have some money for a bra? And I thought they were about six quid. Oh, 30 odd quid for a decent bra. That's sort of fitting. Gives a bit of lift. They're not cheap. And yet there's just one left in there. People here have got nothing. They, you know, they're quite poor living here. There's a dead woman in there with an half-decent bra on. It doesn't add up. What's that? That's a hip hip bone. Is there much left in there? No, that's, that's it. It's all gone. Just one bag like that. Just a bin. What is it? It's a rice bag. It's got a whole woman in it. It was just... There she is. There's Mary. She's been dead for five years. Get her out. Stuck her in a bag. Buried the bag, ready for the family to come and collect it if they want it. And... Got a picture from Eric today. Bloke at Crazy Coffins. You know, he's making a coffin to look like a Twix. So he's getting on with it. Nice. I don't know if it's the right thing or not. I, d I don't know. It was just what came into my head when he said, what do you want your coffin to be? 
I just fancy the twigs. What? Oh, here we go. Just on my way to uh, a place where they don't waste land on dead bodies. That's been my main problem, hasn't it, with a lot of this? With burials, it's, it's sort of wasting land that could be used for something else. At home, when you buy tomatoes, they're imported from Spain. Not because of cost, because we haven't got any land to grow anything. There's no land, no free land. It's going to get to a point when they, they sort of growing shit on football fields. Old Trafford will be bought to grow tomatoes and potatoes. Well, the thing that I'm going to see now, they've got a different way of getting rid of dead bodies. And they stick bodies on the side of cliffs. So who's the coffin for? Uh, this is for Kaga. Kaga? Kaga is the oldest man in the village. It's very, very old, yeah, around 100 years. But does he what? know that you've made ah. a coffin for him? This isn't a secret. He's not, like, over there not knowing this no, is no, going no, no. on. Yeah, he knows. That always happens. Whenever a paint, bloody flying it. That is a blue, blue paint on Laurie's house. Wow. Yeah. Paint's still not bloody dry. It's heavy. I know it's like a bloody wardrobe, though, this. Quality wardrobe. So is this where Kaga wants to be rested when he's dead? Now, Kaga, he's going to be remembered there, isn't he, in big, bright blue letters. It's good. You know, it's good having your name on it and everything. I, I like all that. Feels like he's in it. Yeah. Well, Eddie. <laughs> Do you reckon you'll be remembered? Definitely not. Because <laughs> no one ever gets my name right. So they're not <laughs> going to remember me. In the last hotel we're in, struggled again. I'll show you that. They got it right there. Pilkington, they got Pilkington right and they stuck a G oh. on the end for no reason. <laughs> Pilkington. It's just like, <laughs> they, there's no need for that. If I'm remembered, it'll be Pilkington or Pillington, Pickington. Tilkington, I've got on my council tax. We'll remember you, Carl. Pilkington. Yes. Yes, we will. We sure will. Yep. Nice trick here. Doing it slowly. Fucking hell. Hang on. Right, I'm done. Bloody hell. I think I'll be going home in one of these. Do we, do we know where we're going with it? It yeah, seems like they can't make up the mind where they're going with it. Are they coughing? Is that a coffin? Yeah, coffin. Coffin in, in the rock. Wow. It's not in a crack. Yeah. It's hanging on the side. Mm. Why? So that the dog cannot treat it. Did you hear that? It's mainly so dogs they can't get out of the body. Because uh, mostly before, when we are going to bury our dead here, after three days, the dog will go in the coffin. We are going to eat the body. Could you not fit a lock <laughs> without the coffin? Yeah. Oh, shit. Could they not have put it together down there? This is how they usually do it, Carl. It's, it's... I know, because no one's ever suggested. All it takes <laughs> is someone to go, you thought about making it down there? And they go, that's a good idea. Why has no one ever thought of that? It's madness. I tell you, there's no way. If I lived there, I wouldn't be doing this with my granddad. No way. I'd fly tip it. Honestly, all my family would be left round here. <laughs> tip it off the edge. Hell, there's the bodies in them. Yeah. It makes sense in a way, doesn't it? I mean, it's not using up land. That's what I've been moaning about, isn't it? It's, like, it's just tricky. How do you get up there? Right, you ready? Watch your hands. Hang on a minute, hang on. Slow down, my fingers are stuck in there. <laughs> That's it. Where else to go here? Yeah, I'm going. You're all right. Where are you going with it? Up, up again. Tell... Trapped. Yeah. Fucking hell. Right, where are you going? Right, down, down, down. down, 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 down. Okay. You got this is bloody balmy, this. I normally get dizzy just hanging curtains up. Esteban, do you know when Kaga dies? How do they get him up here? It's the same. Like this? Yeah. What, six fellas and a load of rope? Yeah. And you said you do this? Just so dogs can't get at them? Yes, for safekeeping and also for the spirit be near to God. I don't believe in any afterlife. Do you like the idea of having a, having a heaven? Yeah. And go into it? I, I find it comforting. I just think it's a lot of pissing about. And it's going to be crowded up there now, cos the thing is, there's a lot more people doing good these days. Are they? And you think about it, years ago, you had a lot of evil going on, King Gerard and... And all that. I can't think of them offhand. Yeah. Uh, you know, people cutting off heads and all that. There was a lot of evil people. Whereas now, everyone's doing good. So it's going to be chocker up there. When I mean, you think about the amount of people who get involved in comic relief, all them lot, because they've done good, if the rules are right, you know, you do good on this planet and you go off to heaven, imagine how many people are going to be up there. Just the people of, of comic relief. Lenny Henry, he's up there. Davina McCall, the bloke who played Doctor Who, he's always cropping up on comic relief. <laughs> They're all at it. So, in a way, you're better off wherever the other place is, if it's hell or wherever, because it's going to be a lot quieter there. And that's what I like in life, a bit of peace and quiet. 
I've had enough. I just want to get down now. Can we make our way down? You can. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. Crazy. Back to England. Hey. Oh, no. Nice. What's going on? It's turned up. What? Coughing. It's good. You like <laughs> it. It's good. I couldn't keep it at home, basically, because of the size of it. Plus, Sue's hand up. You know, she don't want a coffin in the house. <laughs> Fair enough, really. I mean, I didn't think of that. But still, it is, a, it is a proper, proper amazing. What? No way! No way! This is big. I know. Good! That's God, the problem that's with this. awesome! It's wow. It's massive, isn't it? Look at that. Flip the screen. Look Yo, at that. They did a good freaking job. Look at the detail there. No. No. Wow. wow. Whatever he paid that guy wasn't enough. Yeah. You need to pay double that. Man, what a good job. Hell yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just little things that need finishing. It needs hinges on it. Look, perfect. Wow. The idea. Susan. Wow. There. I don't know if she'd fit in there. Not being rude, but it is pretty tight for me, and I'm not that fat. <laughs> they just shove you down. The point is, it does the job. It could catch on if you're close, if you're a close family and what have you. If you've got kids, if you've got a brother and a sister, you could have the lot and you could be a Kit Kat. <laughs> you could have a big bucket. Big family bucket. Family bucket. Made for it. It is a disaster and everyone's wiped out. <laughs> Again, have a bit of fun with it. It doesn't have to be miserable, does it, just because the whole family's been wiped Dude, out. Well, hey, hey, but, I mean, it's a morbid but valid point. Yeah. You have fun with it. Yeah. You know, it, it, it all unites us. We're all yeah. going to die one yeah. of these days. Yeah. Have fun with it. It's just your and, point. And I, I love this idea. That's an amazing job, by the way. Yeah, That's a yeah. That's freaking... Mr. Ghana D guy Damn. did well. Yeah. And it's good. I, I just think about in, like, years to come. That sort of Tony Robinson character who's going around digging shit up. Imagine that in, like, 200 years, when the Tony Robinson of the time digs it up and they're going, what's this? What's, what's, what's this around? What's a, what's a, tw a tw Twix? What's a Twix? Because Twix probably won't be around. What's a Twix? Who was this king and all that? It'll, it'll sort of... I don't know. It'll, it'll, I think it'll be interesting Who was this king? People, rather than just another box. We, we did, and we found another box again. Do you know anything about them? Nothing. Whereas I think this I will get people thinking. I love that. Why are two people in there? What is this Twix thing? Anyway, let's get out of here, because I want to take you down to Hastings, show you the other idea that I've come up with. Here we all go. Right. I've always been into those benches you get down by the sea, and they've got messages on them, haven't they? From family just saying how much they're going to miss Elsie, who died, and she used to like walking along this seafront. And it's useful. You've never met Elsie, but because of her death, there's now a chair for you to sit on when you're walking along a seafront on the bank holiday Monday. I don't know what she was like as a person, Elsie. She might have been useless. She might have never done any good in her life. <laughs> she might have been a right lazy old bint, right? But when she's died, she's left something behind. And I think that's good. You're dead a lot longer than you're alive. So if you can do something in that time, that's a good thing. Hastings. We've got loads of benches now. It's not hard to find a seat here. But if you've got any shit in your pocket, you don't know what to do with it. There's never enough bins. So I'm taking the same idea as the bench thing and, you know, putting messages on bins, like yeah. a memorial bin. <laughs> That's it. In memory of Madden Comfort Kofi. <laughs> it's Comfort. Yes! Me, well, I never met her, did I? Yes! I That's awesome. I never when she was dead. But a little memory of her stuck on a bin. I think it's good. I'd, honestly, I'm not messing about here. This isn't like a little daft gimmick for a programme. I think this could catch on. We're not just talking about this bin was here and we stuck a plaque on it. People buy a bin. They buy the full bin, that's what you buy. Someone dies, you don't know what to do to remember them. You buy the bin and have the plaque made and stuck on. So, before Comfort died, it would have been more shitty, yeah? So imagine if more people did this. Could have got a bit of a better photo. It's a bit moody. <laughs> God bless comfort. That, um, yes, God wow. bless comfort. That was awesome, man. Uh, yeah. Um, 
Carl, man. Carl, yeah, this it's is just this thumbs is up. two thumbs up. Oh my god. I, like, he has these like glimpses of just pure like genius. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Just the way he sees the world yeah. is different. Right? Like, he, he 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 leaves good things in the world. He wants everything to have purpose and to be useful. Yeah. That's who he is. He's a minimalist and a, a, a practical guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if it's not practical, then it's nonsense. Mm -hmm. So, I commend that. I, commend I, I think that. that's that. I think that's great, man. Yeah, I respect that a lot. Yep. Yeah. So. Now, earlier in yeah. the episode, yeah. <laughs> uh, first of all, do you have uh, a, a? Do you know what you want to have happen to you when you uh, uh, pass? Like, that kills me. Like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean to have happen to me when I pass? No, 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 no. Like, like, <laughs> like I wanted to be a lion. Like, oh. like uh, funeral arrangements. Like, what do you want them to do with your body? Like, well, first, I think I wanted. Uh, I want to be cremated. Okay. Uh, I want to be cremated. And, um, no, I don't know. I want a, a celebration of life, I think, some a party. I want a party. I want a party. I don't want fucking yeah. sad. I want yeah. a party. I want party music played. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want anything traditional. Uh, and halfway through the ceremony, I want... Some sort of wild animal released in the crowd. <laughs> like I don't know. I want something wild. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want. All right. Uh, what about you? Uh, okay. The moment we've been waiting for. Yes. I want. Well, first of all, at the funeral, I want my my body to be lying there with my hands cupped around a McDonald's French fry large thing, <laughs> with a note that says "Take one." <laughs> and I want at the end of my casket to be a cooler with a bunch of beer and seltzers in it. Well, that's a lot better than having the beer put in the coffin and the yeah. ice and people would start taking beers and then there you are. Yeah. You know. And I want my, after, after all the fries are gone, I want the casket to be closed and I want everyone to march down the streets of, t of, of Main Street and... Throw my casket around. Take me for a whirl. Yep. And then cremate me and use my ashes to uh, plant an apple tree. That apple tree would die. It needs more than just ashes. You can't. <laughs> you can't. Don't, don't do that. You need soil. You need. Mix yeah, it I, with I, soil. Okay, good. It was like, you just. <laughs> ashes, tree. That tree's gonna <laughs> die too. <laughs> Cause fuck apple trees. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> oh that, yeah, hey, there you go. There you go. I saw that one. There was one meme. What is it? I saw recently. It's like the husband's telling his wife, "When I die, cremate me and sprinkle my ashes in Target, so I know you'll visit me." <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's smart. That's smart. <sighs> Thanks for indulging that one. Of course. Uh, of course. But yeah, no, man. Yeah. Uh, and when people, you know, wh whoever your loved one is, right, the family, I think, leaves roses, right? Yeah. Uh, if, if I, for some weird, wild reason, I'm around, I'll put a piece of duct tape. Put a piece of duct tape? Just right there on the on the casket. <laughs> bah. Nice. Sign of respect. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Yep. Now, remember the part where Carl was like, how do you want to die? Like... How do, you, what, do you have any ideas? No, I just want to, um, in my, in my, my, I guess, obituary, I want to, I want there to be a question mark. Like, dead? <laughs> oh, we don't know. You want <laughs> mystery. Yeah. <laughs> Never found the body. Mm -hmm. Presumed. Mm -hmm. Or dot, dot, dot. Yeah. You know? Who there knows? Who knows? I just want to go like Elvis did. On yeah, a shitter. Like a king. Yeah. On the yep. throne, giving it everything you had until you could. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. He died doing what he loved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but this is great, man. Oh god. This was so interesting. Oh. I love this. I love this, man. Uh, it's just... gonna be interesting to see where he goes from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait yep. for the rest of it. Yep. <sighs> oh 
God. Yes. What did I just say? I don't know. Uh, thanks Jesus. for indulging me on that yeah, one. Man. Of course. Of course, man. Okay. And we got to we got to be you got to be comfortable with it. It's it's coming to us all. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you can't run from it. Uh-huh. So embrace it. Yeah. Whew. Anyway, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck, and unplug and do something epic while you can. Yes, yeah, see you next time. <laughs> Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this. <laughs>